hello people in this video we want to look at this laryngeal web okay so normally you will have this like this right but here you can see one extra web that has formed here so that is the laryngeal web so where exactly are we and what are we trying to study we are looking at congenital lesions of larynx and in that we are trying to look at laryngeal web but um, is it only congenital this uh, laryngeal web is it only congenital no it can be acquired also so normal vocal fold you can see here they are uh, open right so here you can see it's completely open right like a v so this is normal vocal fold but what is happening in uh, laryngeal web so there is a web between the vocal folds right there is a web between the vocal vocal cords word they are using here anyways uh, they are saying that it has a concave posterior margin where is that posterior so if this is anterior and this is posterior it has a concave posterior margin this web is a bad thing right so we will say red only see it is a concave posterior margin where is the concave posterior margin here it's the concave posterior margin okay of what of the laryngeal web presenting features what and all will be there airway obstruction weak cry aphonia dating from birth from birth if it is congenital if it is not congenital then it will not be from birth congenital laryngeal web but if i am not wrong it can be an acquired condition also later okay then what is the treatment for this congenital laryngeal web treatment depends on the thickness of the web it can be cut with a knife or a laser wow so you just cut it off with a knife or a laser if it is thin but what to do if it is thick <clears throat> if it is a thick one it may require excision via laryngo fissure okay some laryngo fissure they are going to do and placement of a silicon keel and subsequent dilation so they'll have to dilate it keep dilating it they are placing a silicon keel what is a keel there seem to be a lot of uh, keels this is something you can just see here so if it is thick then you'll have to do excision via laryngo fissure place a silicon keel and subsequent dilations you have to keep dilating it looks like okay so uh, what are the presenting features airway obstruction you will write right there will be airway obstruction there will be a weak cry aphonia dating from where this guy can't talk properly aphonia properly what they're saying he can't talk at all aphonia is it cannot talk at all what is aphonia inability to speak through disease or damage to the larynx see there here the best thing what you have to notice is they did not mention strider anywhere but if you look at strider classification congenital they are saying laryngeal web so do you think there will be biphasic strider what do you think because it is exactly at the level of the glottis that is the vocal fold so there should be biphasic strider do you think above the glottis you will have inspiratory strider below you will have expiratory strider here exactly in the middle you'll have both inspiratory and expiratory so do you think there will be biphasic strider but definitely there is strider at least that much we know now so in presenting features <clears throat> we will add airway obstruction weak cry aphonia strider which is biphasic okay so remember uh, this uh, laryngeal web can be congenital or acquired and acquired it will be just a membrane okay and uh, what else you should know here so let's just wind up then laryngeal web we saw this is normal congenital laryngeal web incomplete recanalization of larynx concave posterior margin airway obstruction aphonia strider which is biphasic then laryngeal web how will you treat if it is thin you can just cut it off with a knife or a carbon dioxide laser if it is thick you will have to do laryngo fissure and place a silicon keel and do subsequent dilations so that it doesn't form again right that's all for now in laryngeal web guys bye bye